Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about Derek Broussard and him getting traded to the Colorado Avalanche. Now Derek Broussard gets sent to the Colorado Avalanche in a pretty big trade that sends a couple of draft picks either way, so what are the trade details in this trade, and of course, which team won this trade? Watch till the end to find out. Now, once again, the Colorado Avalanche are able to trade for Derek Broussard from the Florida Panthers. He was looked at as a guy as one of the better centers in the market right now. And for Colorado, he can definitely be a solid third line center for a potential playoff run if they actually make it. Now, Derek Broussard was, of course, traded from the Pittsburgh Penguins to the Florida Panthers just a few weeks ago. And he was looked at as a guy that would get traded almost instantly. And while it took some time to, for Derek Broussard to actually get traded, we were at the trade deadline and the Colorado Avalanche are the team to step up. Now, when it comes to the details of this trade, the Colorado Avalanche receive Derek Broussard. They also receive a conditional six-round pick in 2020, and going back to the Florida Panthers in this deal is a third-round pick in 2020. But the condition on that six-round pick to Colorado is if Derek Broussard resigns in Colorado after this season, Florida will get that pick and Colorado will no longer have it. And this is honestly a pretty weird deal, but it does make sense for the Colorado Avalanche, who right now are definitely not bona fide to make the playoffs by any means, but they could definitely use some more depth scoring. That has been a huge problem on their team for pretty much the past few years. They've needed guys like Derek Broussard to come onto the team and play well, and Derek Broussard not be, I feel like they kind of needed a winger more than a center, but Derek Broussard will be solid in that center group, and likely if he's not the fourth line center, will be a pretty solid third center in the meantime. When it comes to Colorado's center group, you got, of course, Nathan McKinnon, and probably Alexander Kerfoot, Carl Soderberg, and then Derek Broussard can likely fit in into that fourth center position if he doesn't get some more time. Well, for me personally, when it comes to that Soderberg slash Broussard fight for that third line center, I feel like Broussard and Soderberg will kind of split the time when it comes to their ice time. I feel like both of them will get the same amount of minutes because I feel like they're more equal than, than more people think. When it comes to Soderberg, he's had a brilliant last couple of seasons. He's been a lot better, but I feel like Broussard is also pretty solid and is likely better than a fourth line center. But when it came to Florida and their end on this trade, it was looked at as a trade that Florida was always going to make since acquiring him. Uh, now they got Riley Sheehan in that deal. They got some picks in that trade. That is what they were really going for. Derek Broussard was looked at as a guy that wouldn't stay on the Florida Panthers for too much longer. And while Florida is close to the playoffs, I don't think right now that they need a guy like Derek Broussard. They're likely not going to make the playoffs with how competitive the Eastern Conference is. And for the Florida Panthers, this is a smart move to trade up for an even better pick. Get a third round pick that hey, might become something good. And when we look at this trade for Derek Broussard, it kind of signifies the end of what Derek Broussard was, especially as an Ottawa Senator. I was a huge fan back of him, back with the Ottawa Senators and how good he really was there, especially in the playoffs and the playoff run back in 2017. It was really unbelievable how good Derek Broussard was at points like three, four years ago. The decline has came sharp and steady for him. When he was traded for the Pittsburgh Penguins, it was not a fit whatsoever. He got traded to the Florida Panthers. He didn't really play too well there. So here's hoping that he plays a little bit better in Colorado, finds a little bit of a better fit, because I honestly like the player and what he brings. Now, even though I'm not really a Colorado Avalanche fan, I'm still rooting for Broussard to do well in Colorado and to find a home there, because honestly, through how much he's been going through, especially in the last couple of years, I feel like he finally deserves to start playing well, start finding some results, and of course, finally start to see a long-term home, which in Florida and in Pittsburgh, he just didn't really get. Now, of course, this is the part of the video where I determine a winner of this trade, the Florida Panthers or the Colorado Avalanche, and to me personally, I feel like the Florida Panthers win in this trade. Just personally, I don't see Broussard doing too great in Colorado, and even if he does, I'm not sure Colorado will actually keep him long term. But for the Pan Florida Panthers, they do get that pick. They do get that third round pick and a pretty solid upgrade there. And Florida is already in this kind of retool phase where they're somewhat competitive, but they are still training players. So it makes sense for them. And getting that third round pick could become someone good. And of course, this is always what Florida is doing, drafting, and of course, scouting. That's what they're trying to go for this year. But I do think it makes sense for both teams involved, honestly. Colorado trying to make the playoffs, trying to get some more depth. Derek Broussard is a guy that has some leadership towards him and can do well there. And I think he will. And for the Florida Panthers, they do get a pretty solid draft pick from this. And hey, if he doesn't re-sign there, they're able to keep their six-round pick, which is also a pretty good plus. 
But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what do you think about this trade deadline deal. What do you think about the Colorado Avalanche going after Derek Broussard and trading for him? And of course, with this trade, let me know which team won, Colorado or Florida. But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about Matt Duchesne and him going to the Columbus Blue Jackets. But that is going it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on this trade and which team won. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.